Hello everyone, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem solve d square minus 2d plus 4 into y equals 3 for x sin x. So let's find order and degree. Identify the highest derivative. Here d square is the highest derivative. So order will be 2. And highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. Degree is 1. Or just write the given differential equation as d square y minus 2 dy plus 4y equals 3 power x sin x. We know that d is a differential operator. Then d square will be d square by dx square. Right? We can write d square y as d square y by dx square minus 2 into write dy as dy by dx plus 4y equals to e power x sin x. Here d square y by dx square is the highest derivative. So order will be 2. And highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. Degree is 1. Now coming to the problem. Given differential equation. d square minus 2d plus 4 into y equals 3 power x sin x which is in operator form f of d to y equals to q where f of d equals to d square minus 2d plus 4 and q is e power x sin x. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Here yc is complementary function and yp is particular integral. We will find yc using the roots of auxiliary equation of homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. Simply by putting rhs to 0 we will get f of d into y equals to 0 which is a homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. And we will find yp using 1 by f of d into q. So let's begin with yc. Now firstly we will find yc complementary function using the roots of auxiliary equation of homogeneous equation of the given on homogeneous equation. The auxiliary equation of homogeneous equation is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of d d square minus 2d plus 4 then f of m will be simply replace differential operator by m so that we will get m square minus 2m plus 4 which is our f of m. Then auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 2m plus 4 equals to 0. Now we will find roots of this equation using quartic formula. Now compare this equation with am square plus 2, sorry, bm plus c equals to 0, then we will get a equals to 1, b equals to minus 2, and c equals to 4. Now let's use quartic formula minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a is equals to minus b minus 2. Plus or minus square root of b square minus 2 whole square minus 4 into a 1 into 4 by 2a which is equals to 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 whole square is 4 minus 4 fours are 16 by 2 which is equals to 2 plus or minus square root of minus 12 by 2. This is equals to 2 plus or minus we can split minus 12 as minus 1 into 3 into 4 by 2 which is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of minus 1 into square root of 3 into square root of 4 by 2. We know that square root of minus 1 is i and square root of 4 is 2. So this becomes 2 plus or minus replace square root of minus 1 with i into root 3 into 2 by 2. Now take 2 common from the numerator. We will get 2 times. 1 plus or minus root 3 into i by 2. 2, 2 gets cancelled and we will get 1 plus or minus 
I root 3. Right? Then M equals to 1 plus or minus I root 3. Therefore, M equals to 1 plus or minus I root 3 are the roots of our auxiliary equation f of m equals to 0, which is a pair of complex conjugate. We know that a plus ib is a complex number, then its conjugate will be a minus ib. If a minus ib is a complex number, then its conjugate will be a plus ib. If we have a pair of complex conjugate rules, then yc will be e power ax into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx. Right? Now, our complementary function will be yc equals to e power a 1 into x into c1 cos for b equals to root 3. We will get root 3 into x plus c2 sine root 3 into x. Then yc becomes e power x into c1 cos x root 3 plus c2 sine x root 3. Now let's find particular integral. We'll find particular integral using 1 by f of d into q. We have f of d and q. We have f of d d square minus 2 d plus 4. And q is the power x into sine x. So this is of 1 by f of d into e power x into some b form. Now compare e power x with e power x. e power x. Then for a equals to 1. Then for a equals to 1, we need to find d plus a, which is equals to d plus 1. So we will shift e power ax towards left by replacing f of d by f of d plus a into 1 into v, sorry. And then we will operate a v using 1 by f of d plus a. So here shift e power x towards left by replacing this d by d plus 1. Then we will get d plus 1 whole square minus 2 into d plus 1 plus 4 into sine x. Right? Is equals to e power x into 1 by expand d plus 1 whole square using a plus b whole square formula. We will get d square plus 1 plus 2d minus 2 into d 2d minus into plus minus 2 into 1 2 plus 4 into sine x. Is equals to e power x into 1 by d square plus 2d minus 2d gets cancelled plus 1 plus 4 is plus 5 minus 2 into sin x then y b becomes e power x into 1 by d square plus 5 minus 2 is 3 into sin x. See now this of some 1 by function of d into sin ax or sin bx form. Okay. Now, we need to follow the procedure of 1 by f of d into sin ax form. Okay. Fine. Now, compare 1 by g of d into sin bx then for b equals to 1 we will find d square which is given by minus of b square which is equals to minus 1 square equals to minus 1. Now what we have to do we have to check what happens if we replace d square in d square by minus 1 in the denominator. The denominator must be non-zero. What happens if we get denominator 0? We will get the total term becomes 1 by 0 into sin x right. Since 1 by 0 is undefined, so total term becomes undefined. Always the denominator must be non-zero. So let's see what happens if we replace d square by minus 1. Replace d square by minus 1. We will get 
minus 1 plus 3 is 2 which is non-zero since by replacing d squared by minus 1 we got the denominator non-zero so what we'll do here we'll just replace d squared by minus 1 right is equals to e power x into 1 by replace d squared by minus 1 we'll get minus 1 plus 3 into sin x which is equals to e power x into 1 by minus 1 plus 3 is 2 into sin x which is equals to 1 by 2 e power x sin x right therefore yp equals to 1 by 2 e power x into sin x we got yc and yp so let's write the general solution the general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp then y equals to we have yc power x into c1 cos x root 3 plus c2 sin x root 3 plus yp 1 by 2 e power x into sin x this completes a problem so we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye